And for Greek Fest here, we've got some uh, some more photos coming in from CBS4 viewers and CBS4 crews. Up next, this one is, is this the New Pal? This is New Pal over uh, what looks like a cornfield or a field of some sort here. This is a tree down in Brownsburg here. And we were getting several reports of trees down. We also uh, saw some a lot of damage the broad ripple area trees actually crushing garages in that location um, we just got an email in here uh, Kessler is blocked by Chatard trees are down Chatard employees are directing traffic onto Crittenden right now this is Kessler right here on your screen so those are the trees that we're seeing coming down or that did come down as it moved from the northwest side which got the first bit of this storm and then it's been moving to the east if you're watching at home and you're just stepping outside if you can safely do so but uh, send us tweet us your photos tweet us your observations what you're seeing if you're uh, out and about just now stepping outside but if you're in the area where Lindsay is tracking right now you do want to seek cover Lindsay absolutely and I uh, just want to give you an update here the tornado warning that was in effect for Hancock and Shelby counties has expired and they have not reissued it. So uh, we will continue to monitor that situation, but we do have a severe thunderstorm warning that remains in effect. So it looks like they've replaced that tornado warning to a severe thunderstorm warning, which is more congruent, I would say, with what these velocity images were showing. Damaging straight line winds, the primary threat within these thunderstorms, the severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for Shelby and Rush counties until 945. Morristown, 60 plus mile per hour winds headed your way by 920. Knightstown at 922. Boyd at 925. Knighthood Village 930, Henderson 931, and Homer at 936. I'm going to zoom out here and uh, just want to show the big picture. I'm even going to show you that this is just a pretty localized event as it moved into central Indiana, across Montgomery and Boone and Hamilton counties. We just showed you pictures of that. If you notice, if you take a look at this time lapse here, you see how the cell had that purple in it when it was traveling across Marion County and Boone County. That's when it was strongest and it's kind of losing that intensity right now. Still very strong thunderstorm. Uh, don't stand down yet. That severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for Shelby and Rush counties until 945. This storm is capable and already has a history of producing damaging straight line winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. And a lot of times with these damaging straight line winds, that is uh, covers a lot more ground and can cause as much damage, if not more damage, than a tornado because it's going to impact a larger real estate. And, and larger Lindsay, this has moved very quickly. It, it's leaving areas almost as soon as it hits them, no? Yeah, it is moving rather quickly. The storm's moving at about 35 miles an hour. So I would say that's kind of in the middle because sometimes you can see storms move 60 miles an hour. Yeah, we have reports here. Uh, we mentioned the. Uh, the uh, the road near Chatard School is blocked now. Chatard is without power. The students are uh, being held in the basement until these warnings expire. And we do have uh, photos that we'll get to you eventually here of Chatard employees out directing traffic. So keep that in mind if you're going to be in that area going down uh, Kessler. Uh, we have trees down on 71st east of Allisonville. Our, our crew says it is a huge tree. We've got uh, a high water issue here, Marianne. This is a 62nd in Allisonville. It appears to be a uh flooding on that road. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of high water, especially on the northeast side of Marion County. That's where a lot of these reports now are coming in, where we're seeing these trees that just came down. We even saw it through Carmel. We had those pictures just a moment ago. To the right there on your screen is the live look outside. Just about an hour ago, very ominous looking, a dark shelf cloud that was just moving over the city, torrential downpours. Here we are right now. We have the thunderstorm warning for Decatur County, and Lindsay Riley is tracking that for you. You can see what's going on in the red. If you're in that area right now on Live Guardian radar, seek cover, stay with your family indoors, don't step outside. But for others, though, now in Marion County who are going outside and starting to see that damage, they are reporting those trees are down, large trees.